Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Fikros from 6XM3. We'll uh, introduce about electric aircraft in the aviation industry in the future. Uh, so let's continue. Okay, electric aircraft set for takeoff as commercially variable transport. Uh, okay, the first one you can see here, Rolls Royce and others aim for flying commercial market with fast air taxis. And Tokyo, a great deal from progress has been made uh, in technology for aircraft and electric aircraft, boosting prospects for new era in commuting believed to be coming between 2023 20, and 2026. So we can see here. Maybe uh, electric aircraft will fully operate uh, in between this year, 2023 and 2026. Okay, big push happening this year in aviation. We are seeing a big push uh, happening this year in aviation driven by calls on airlines to decarbonize and invest in this new aviation technology. This help decarbonize aviation because uh, we know aviation for aircraft is using too much petroleum that can make the carbon dioxide. And this research has been spent for six months. A handful of a new technology being developed by startup to help decarbonize aviation. This includes electric flight, hydrogen, and biofuel flight, and new aircraft design. The work is part of BNEF's annual climate tech innovation competition, the BNEF Pioneers, whose objective is to identify companies with the potential to change the industry and those pushing forward with innovation that support low carbon economy. Okay. Venture capital funding for climate tech that push has surged in the past year. Okay, we can see low carbon transport companies were the largest recipient. Investors are drawn to transport as an investment category because many offerings are cost competitive and have a good product market fit. Also, there have been successes in the industry, particularly for companies involved in low carbon road transport such as battery maker KATL and Chinese electric vehicle startup NEO. You can see the global climate tech VCB investment by sector by 21 that buildings 2% for building, 5% for climate and carbon, 8% industry and materials, agriculture and food 27% energy 27% and 41% for transport and food. Aviation may be the next big market for climate tech investment. As low carbon road transport technologies mature, investors are looking for new opportunities and expanding it into aviation and shipping. Venture capital and private equity (VCPE) investment in aviation technologies has surged 724% from 2017 to 2021. Totaling almost three billion in the in 2021, according to BNEF, public market also have demonstrated and interested in the sector. Urban mobility companies such as Joby Aviation and William raised billion of dollars through reverse market. Life. Urban air mobility doesn't meaningful contributed for the sustainability target. The majority of climate tech investment to date has been in urban air mobility companies looking to transform private intercity travel in an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft could go from the city of London to Heathrow Airport in six minutes, traveling at top speed, for example, but this urban flight, some of them electric, will at best displace cars with a more energy intense form, form of travel. At worst, they will replace public transit. 
while investors are excited by the promise of this type of travel, the contributions by such startup of to broader sustainability goals will be limited. Over 50% of global flight departure fly under 1,111 kilometers, 690 miles, but only account for 1% of total miles flown per This is the aircraft for electric aircraft that maybe we will introduce in future, not maybe. Uh, the aircraft is finished. So we will introduce in the future, not a very long time. So innovators in long haul commercial aviation. The innovation required include changes in drive train to electric motors, fuel cells or modified turbines, and move to zero carbon fuel. This is technically possible and many new aircraft have been tested and shown to work for short haul flights. But none are, none are commercially available yet. Of the 225 startup BNEF has identified as building sustainable aviation technology. Two in particular, Dweb and Zero Avia, are BNEF pioneer startup. Dweb have, uh, have developed a process for converting CO2 into jet fuel. And Zero Avia has become the key player in the race to produce hydrogen aircraft. The two startups are working to improve the performance and efficiency of sustainable aviation technology, but both face significant hardware in commercializing their products. So that's all about the new aircraft will be introduced. That the global warming on everything so that's all for me and thank you